My guest tonight is an award-winning actor who's been seen in the Divergent series and Big Little Lies. Her latest film, Endings Beginnings, is now available digitally on all platforms and video on demand. Please welcome the incredibly talented Shailene Woodley. Hey, thank you so much for joining me and for doing thank this. You. I really appreciate it. It's actually because I'm in my house and no, trust me, nobody here wants to talk to me. And so <laughs> it's this nice treat that I have that I'm able to say, oh, I like Shailene. I get to go talk to her for, for 15 minutes. Uh, and I get to run upstairs and just do that. So I feel like this is saving my life. And then, you know, it's, it's, it's sort of like a side benefit of this weird gig that I have. So thanks totally. for doing well, thank you for continuing to do it. I mean, you could have easily chosen not to. So thank you for well, taking the time to make it work. <laughs> I, I mean, to... maybe you didn't have a choice. Maybe you didn't have a choice, but. No, 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 no. <laughs> we, we felt like it would be good to keep going and, and keep everybody uh, working and, uh, and doing it. But I have to tell you, there have been times where I'm attempting to put on my own makeup. And, oh. Uh, I yeah. clearly put on a lot of makeup for you today and, and did my hair. In you look makeup. really great. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't have anything on. I don't Me have, neither. I don't have That's any great. makeup on it's right now. And yeah, well, you look you look great. I'm uh, I'm 95 years old, and I'm telling you, uh, I'm thankful. Like the just, lighting looks great. It's just it's the cheapest ring light in the world. I just oh, have you have a ring light. You're cheating, this, man. I have that. It's it's that's I it. Got just side a, window light and. <laughs> no, you look great. You look great. It's just that I think ninety five percent of my look is this, and then I'm going to start hanging wax paper over this to give me that nice blurred. Nineteen. Oh, you just get some new filters. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want to look like a very attractive late nineteen twenties film star. There you go. Scarlett, uh, I've been doing this a really long time and for the first time, everybody I'm talking to is in the exact same situation. Do you know what I mean? We're all in quarantine. So I always start off asking people, how's your quarantine going? Quarantine is actually going good. I mean, it's, you know, it's weird because it's, it's hard to say I'm having a great time because you know that like the reason we're in quarantine is because so many other people aren't having a great time right now. Um, but for me, it's it's been nice to be home. I never yeah. get to be home. So the opportunity to just understand what domestic life can be and get to mm -hmm. know your neighbors and you know six feet apart, of course, right. um, it's been it's been really lovely, I guess, to have this to have this time. How about you? Uh, it's pretty good. I think what the biggest difference between say what you're going through and what I'm going through is I'm in this house with my wife and my two kids. Uh, and a bunch of animals. You are just with your dog. Is that right? I am just with my dog. That is a major difference. Anyone who has children who's going through this, I have a friend who has three three kids, and A, that's just so many kids to begin with, but B, being stuck with all three of those children, oi. Yeah. Not a yeah. magic. Yeah, I, I, I have to say, it really depends on their ages. Like, my children are young teens, but that means they're completely self-sufficient. Do you know what I mean? Like, they... Yeah. They're just doing their own thing, but you see I, them for dinner and that's it. <laughs> exactly, and they want to see me as little as possible. They, yeah. <laughs> I'm an embarrassment to them, so they just don't want me around. But I was thinking, if I were you and I was holed up just with my dog, I would start to lose it. I would start to think the dog was talking to me. Well, he, to he is talking to me. I mean, that he's he's talk, he's actually singing to me as well. He is uh -huh. serenading me. He's <laughs> Yeah. My poor dog, I, you know, he's going to have such a rude awakening when, when the world starts up again, when he realizes he doesn't get my attention 24 hours a day like he does right now. Right. I think this it's is, really difficult for him. The great thing about dogs, I think, is they immediately forget most everything shortly <laughs> after it happens. So right, It's going to be really difficult for me. <laughs> it's going to be really hard for me. <laughs> I hope I do that with this quarantine. I wish I could be like a dog and when this is over, just be like, okay, that didn't happen. On to the next. Uh, yeah, you're donating some of your time for a good cause. It's actually a cause. Is this right that your mom started called All It Takes? Is that right? It is. We started it together 10 years ago, and then I was just like, Mom, I don't have the bandwidth to really funnel all of my energy into this. So she took it over, and she's doing amazing work. I mean, right now specifically, they've created a program because there's so many people at home dealing with anxiety, and it's kind of this weird thing that we're not talking about a lot, I feel like, when it comes to COVID. But 
people are at home, they don't know when they're going to work again. Kids have parents teaching them homework that parents don't, you know, they don't know what they're doing and suicide rates are up and depression is up and people just don't have tools to cope. Uh, and so there's a program online that she's created where every Sunday and then multiple times throughout the month, they go on and have these panels and discussions on how you can cope with the anxiety that you're experiencing at home, what, no matter what age you're at. I think <clears throat> that's a really good point because my experience has been people think if you're just staying in your home, you almost don't have the right to be anxious. And there's a lot of people saying they do that. Well, there's real people out there on the front lines and the hospital workers, they deserve to be anxious, but not me because I'm at home eating a burrito and uh, binge watching you know, some TV show when the point is there's a lot of anxiety out there. So right much. Now. I mean, imagine how many people like don't know if they're ever going to work again who have been laid off because they weren't in the top one third of their company's employees. And right. there's, there's so much uncertainty. And I think our, in our country too, we, we don't really have, we didn't have any way to prepare for this. So, um, yeah, resources for anxiety are major and, and May is the mental health awareness month. So, Oh, I didn't know that. Is that true? Yeah. It is true. I, I mean, according know to that. I know. That's I true. should know that. I have a lot of <laughs> mental health issues. <laughs> I definitely it's need your month. That. Your month is coming up, man. It's my month. <laughs> well, uh, on a happier note, I know that you're a big Star Wars fan. Oh my god, I'm such I'm such a big Star Wars fan. And and not and you know, it's funny because now our life before quarantine, we look back on it and it feels like a hundred years ago, you know. But I know that just before the quarantine. Uh, when it, like in January, you know, pretty, not that long ago, you went to, what's it called? Galaxy's Edge, the Star Wars experience at Disneyland. I I, we went, it was our New Year's, my best friends and I, for our like New Year's celebration, we went to Disneyland and we went to Galaxy's Edge and it, I mean, listen, I, as a child in kindergarten, refused to go by my name. I'm, people had to call me Leia. And I found the two boys in the class that I was friends yeah. with, the cute one, I made Han Solo, and the one that I didn't think was that cute was Luke and could be my brother. And we just played Star Wars every single day. It was a part of my DNA. Um, so being yeah. there as an adult and witnessing what they created at Disneyland, I mean, this is, this is fully an unpaid advertisement. You have to go to Disneyland to witness Galaxy's Edge if you like Star Wars. <laughs> you're, promoting Dis you're promoting Disneyland and Galaxy's Edge and you're not getting paid to do it. That's uh, no. <laughs> this is okay, okay. Because for a minute I thought, okay, usually when someone's yelling at me, go to Disneyland, it's because they're getting paid a couple hundred thousand dollars. But, yeah, no, okay, that, that's I mean, that'd be great, hard. but. <laughs> I think we have, you posted some footage of you at Galaxy's Edge, I think getting interrogated by a stormtrooper. You're awfully guilty. <laughs> 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 what do you say? I have no Maybe we should arrest you. Yes. We have something in common because when I grew up, uh, I had everyone call me Leia as well. Uh, really? I, did you did you put the buns on the side of your head too? <laughs> I did. I did. I was very gender confused, but I it worked <laughs> for me. She was the one I could relate to the most, uh, and I'm curious. I mean, now you're in this position as a Star Wars fan where there are these, the Star Wars universe will never end. They keep making new, new projects and new characters. Do you ever think to yourself, wait a minute, I might be able to be in one of those. And if so, what would you be? What, what kind of character would you want to be? I mean, I would love, it probably sounds crazy. If the opportunity to be a lead in a Star Wars film came around, listen, I wouldn't say no. Um, right. But... I also just think it'd be really cool to be an extra. I think it'd be very cool to put on like a stormtrooper uniform and show up to set all day and sit there for 12 hours doing the same walk back and forth and just witnessing the magic. Cause there is, there's something so magical about movies like that. And part of, you know, being an actor is you see the inside of it. And sometimes that's great. And other times it can take some of the magic away. So I don't know that I'd want to ruin the magic for myself, but that Love being that. Said, You having, you've, you're this big star you have a lot of clout, you love Star Wars, and if you could be any character, you'd want to be an extra <laughs> running in the background with a helmet on. Yes! Anonymous. Yes! Do you remember the movie Hook? Yeah. Do you know how many people like were extras in that movie who just popped up who were friends? Of, like, I love that. I think that's so cool. And 
I don't know. I would, I just, I think it'd be neat just tell my kids one day, see that, see that storm truck? That's me. That, that, that was me. They'll okay. never believe me, but. <laughs> but you could also show them movies where you're the star. <laughs> I mean, this is true. You're not wrong, but I just, I don't I just know. Find it, no, it's great. It's sweet. I just find it really funny that you're like. <laughs> Let's talk about endings, beginnings. There's a lot of improvisation in this film, which I would imagine takes a lot of, I would say courage as an actor to do that much improvisation because then the director can, if you're, if you're improvising a scene for 20 minutes and the director can cut it down to two, they have a lot of control over what happens. Yeah, you're completely right. I mean, the good thing is that our director, Drake Doremus, most of his films that he's improvised, not most, he hasn't improvised all of his films, but the films that he has improvised are incredible and I'm a huge fan of. And he's, he's just somebody who really cares about people and about emotions and about humanity and love and, and suffering and pain. And, and I think that, you know, being in one of his movies, you kind of know what you sign up for. Um, you're completely right. And we will do scenes for 20 minutes. And then he'd come up to us and say, Hey, I really liked this sentence. And I like this sentence. How do we now put these two sentences and make a new scene out of them? And so the whole thing oh, wow. felt like one big improv, 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 improvisational, still not say that word experiment. Uh, and we really got to know ourselves very well, because when you are improvising, you're pulling from your own well of knowledge and experience and, I think you surprise yourself with some of the things you say sometimes. Wow. I would prefer a script. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, th I think that, if it was a different director, a script would be nice. But with this no, director, it felt great. I know. I mean, it's, it's really cool that you did that. I just think, uh, and I'm, I'm not an actor, but I would think to be an actor and have to excavate your own feelings and probably mine your past and try and feel things and exp you know expose parts of yourself i'd be like can i have a script <laughs> please yeah i, I mean wanna... it was really vulnerable super vulnerable i feel like i got to know those actors and our crew as well because they were improvising the whole time in many ways more than i've ever gotten to know any other actor or crew on any film set wow okay so um this i want to make sure i i get this out there because this is endings beginnings is now available digitally on all platforms and video on demand i like to call that vod vod i don't think anybody else calls it vod <laughs> i think i'm the only person all right well i worry about you because you're alone in a house with a dog for a very long time and I will come out of this. Okay, I promise. <laughs> you will come out of it. Okay, maybe you like this. Maybe this, you know, some people enjoy this because they're kind of shy. So this I love it. I love it. I mean, I can do the whole extrovert thing if I have to, but I'm such an introvert, and this yeah. feels like a cozy cocoon. So I'm very happy. All right. Hey, thank you so much for doing this, Shailene. Take care of yourself. You. I will. You too. Right. Stay safe. And uh, we'll see you on the other side of this craziness. Yes, you. Hopefully, not gone. Right. Give, give my best to the dog. I will give my best to your family.